Welcome back, kids. Uh, making this video by request. Uh, a lot of you are still running your machine kind of as at the default setting in between tool changes. And what you're dealing with is you've got a multiple tool project you need to cut. And after the first tool path finishes up, your spindle just stops where it's at, raises up, turns off, and it just sits there. That ain't no good. I'm going to show you how to make the, your spindle come forward to the front of your machine so you can easily change the bit and it'll all, just automatically come to the front of the machine. And uh, it's also, in my case, I have a tool setter, but whether you have a tool setter or not, this is still good information to have. So well, I'm, first I'm going to show you what I've got set up here. Simple two vectors. I've got a six inch circle, a five inch circle. We're calling the outside circle here the first one. And I'm going to pretend to cut it with a quarter inch end mill. Close that. And then on the second profile, which is the inside, I'm going to pretend to cut it with an eighth inch end mill. So we're, go we're going to have a tool change there. And I've already saved this and uh, send it over to the Masso through the Masso link. So let's get over there and I'll show you what you need to do. All right, first step, go into your F1 setup screen, tool changer, tap that. And mine is a manual tool change for now because I haven't got my ATC yet. Double tap, manual tool change. And this is where you're going to enable this miraculous improvement. I already have my numbers in here because mine was already set up. But uh, if you have a tool setter, like I do, that number on my X axis is to the center of my tool setter. Uh, now my tool setter on the Y axis actually sets forward, I think 0.65 or something, but we're not worried about that. I wanted the spindle to come as close to the front of the machine as it can go to that. So you leave your y-axis at zero. Set your x-axis wherever you want the spindle to come to change the tool. And like I said, in my case, I, I want mine right there at the tool setter. So after I change the tool, cycle start, and it's already right there, it'll measure that bit and get on about its business. So Here's what you do. Just enable all three of these. If you're like me, you won't have anything in the Z or the Y. That's fine because that's where you need to be. You're enabling all three of those. Save. And then save it again right here. And that's all there is to it. Now your machine is going to come forward uh, for every tool change. So let's test that out and see what that looks like. All right, I'm in my F2 screen. Uh, I've already set my zero X and Y, which is my G55. And if y'all don't have that set up yet, if you don't have a fence, you need to get one. And then when you get one, you need to set up a G55 or a G offset. But I've already talked about that in other videos. I will have a link to that video about the fence and that G55 setting above, top right of the screen right now. Okay, so now let's run this one. Rewind. We're already at the work origin. Cycle start. All right, it's gonna run that six inch circle, the first vector, first tool path. And this is where the change came in that we just made. You're, now my spindle is right here. It's actually in front of the, uh, the tool changer. So I change my tool. Boom. I'm already right there. If you don't have a tool setter, just set it where, set your X wherever you want it to be, whatever's comfortable for you. But that's how I do it. But let's go ahead and finish this out. Well, we'll just pretend that I put a bit in there. That's what we'll do. So now I'm going to go back over here to the Masso. 
It's telling me to put in that eighth inch downtown Jenny. We're just going to pretend that I did that. Cycle start. And here it goes. Oh, I've got the I've got the tool setter disabled. That's why it's not doing that. Because a lot of y'all don't have tool a tool setter. That's why I had that disabled. Forgot about that. But that's the second tool path with the second tool. It went and run it. And now what you'll notice uh, that's different than how mine normally operates. Normally mine would shut the spindle off, turn the vacuum off, which I have disabled for this demonstration. And it would go back to the parking location. You have to do that in your post processor by adding a G30 command down in the footer of your post processor. I've also covered that in a previous video. Link will be at the top right right now, and I'll include it down in the description too. So I hope this helps y'all. If you have any other questions, just put them in the comments below. I do have a couple uh, more things to say. Number one, how about those chiefs? So proud of them guys. But most importantly, uh, today is Valentine's Day, and tomorrow, I get to become a papa for the second time. Punk is going to be a big sister. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're looking forward to Maria making her uh, debut tomorrow. They're going to induce. Uh, my daughter has to be at the hospital at like 4.30 in the morning, and Doc's going to come in by 7.30 and uh, break the water and get this thing going. So, hopefully, by you know, early afternoon, if not sooner, I'll have my second grandkid, so uh, I couldn't be more happy about this. I just can't wait. So thank y'all for watching, and if you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them in the comment below. I'll see you on the next video when I'm a Papa times two.